Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. This morning, the coronavirus is not showing signs of slowing down. Right now, there are more than 135,000 cases in the U.S. with more than 2,400 lives lost. More than 4,400 Americans have recovered from the virus. And in Michigan, we now have more than 5,400 confirmed cases here in our state. Sadly, the number of deaths has risen to 132. Now, we're expecting another update from Governor Gretchen Whitmer on the state's response to the coronavirus. She's set to speak from Lansing at 1015 this morning. Uh, Governor Whitmer will then join Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan later at 2.30 this afternoon. They'll provide another update from the COVID-19 testing site at the old fairgrounds in Detroit. You can watch both of those updates live on WXYZ.com. Well, this morning we've learned Michigan State Representative Isaac Robinson has passed away. His family tells 7 Action News that Robinson was having difficulty breathing uh, over the last couple of days and went to Detroit Receiving Hospital Sunday morning. Robinson, who was a Democrat, represented Michigan's 4th District, which includes uh, Hamtramck and parts of Detroit. Right now, the exact cause of Isaac Robinson's death is unclear. Welcome back, almost 5 a.m. and we have a little bit of light rain out there across Metro Detroit right now and that'll be the story today. It's going to be cloudy and occasionally you might get a little drizzle, a few sprinkles or some passing light rain showers and right now some light rain that's over Ann Arbor, Northfield, Dexter, Chelsea, just north of Manchester. So a few pockets here and there where you might get some light rain this morning. I think overall the middle of the day is going to be dry. Just a lot of clouds today with highs in the mid 40s. It's only around the lower 40s this morning, so not much of a warm up today and some wind gusts are still going to be around 25 30 miles per hour. So you still need a coat today. It's going to be in the 40s. The good news is we warm back into the 50s by Wednesday. I'll have the seven day forecast again coming up though in the next half hour. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from seven action news.